Welcome back to Relax It's Just Wine. I'm Tony Del Sol. And tonight we are going to be discussing a big, bold Cabernet, perfect for steak wine called Mount Veter Winery. Cabernet Sauvignon 2018, Napa Valley, guys. So you know most of those wines coming out from Napa Valley are going to be big and bold. So I used to have this on the list about four or five years ago, and then we took it off, replaced it with something else. And I was curious what this was tasting like. So about five or six months ago, got it for around $35 at Costco. Plug for Costco, because they rock with the prices. Um, you're gonna find this around 50-ish online and at some other retail stores. Uh, coming in at 14.5% alcohol, so it's not a baby. It's a, it's a big, bold wine. Um, like I said, I haven't had it in about four years. So I'm curious what it tastes like. So I decanted it a little bit, put it back in the bottle and want to see where it's at now so that color is out of control a dark purple crayola crayon purple <laughs> tell that to your psalm friends crayola purple crayola crayon purple watch their face all right so this wine has always been a pretty big bold wine and yeah you can see the alcohol from the legs on that and just so you know, guys, people, <laughs> I don't know what that myth was so many years ago. People said, if you see the legs on the wine, that means it's really expensive and it's good. That's not the case. It's just showing you how the alcohol levels. You can just tell like how much alcohol that wine might probably have. And this one it seems like to be pretty high. All right, so I decanted this, like I said, a while ago, and um, it was pretty big. So hopefully it's chilled out a little bit. Wow. Totally getting black licorice on that. And I'm not a fan of black licorice, but that's just one of the, the senses I'm getting. Because it'll taste totally different. Totally vanilla, jammy, like a total jam in there. Total jam, that's funny. All right, let's taste this. Definitely needed the air. Wow, I don't like that part. All right, so it starts out really nice. The fruit flavors on your palate just taste, on your tongue tastes so good. And then it just kind of goes, boom, totally disappears. And um, that's kind of telling me two things. One, it just probably needs more time in the bottle. I like to age rather, you know, five, 10 years probably. And then it might come together. Or you just need to decant this for about three to five years. I'm kidding. But, <laughs> I mean, it does need a lot of time to air out. And that's why I, you know, took it off the list because right out of the bottle, it's just, it tastes okay, but then it just kind of flattens out. And it's like, eh, if you're gonna spend that kind of money on this wine, I think we had it for like almost, like almost close to $100. So that's a lot of money. Um, so, eh. Is it worth it? Eh. I mean, if you get it for 35 bucks, great. If you find it more than that, I wouldn't pay more than that. I wouldn't even pay, 35 is kind of like, with tax, it's like 40, especially here in California. So, uh, let me give it one more taste. Yeah, I mean, this thing screams for like, give me a prime rib, give me like some T-bone, did I say T-bone? I meant to say porterhouse steak. <laughs> T-bone, that's so 80s. Um, it's screaming like a ragu pasta, something really deep, rich, something with some fat in it. I mean, this is what this needs. Um, but yeah, by itself, nah, I wouldn't drink this by itself. All right, so there you have it. Remember to like and subscribe, and happy drinking.